Hi there, Jess in the Rated Kitchen. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to put together from start to finish a delicious and vibrant salmon dinner chock full of fruits and vegetables. And we're gonna start today with our peach caprese salad. So let's get our peaches sliced. I'm going to use my heavy duty pear for this. Come in. There we go. And then I'm gonna slice this, oh, about a fourth of an inch thick. Next up, I have some fresh mozzarella and we're just gonna mimic the slices of our peaches and do the same. And this is going to look so pretty when we lay this all out on a platter and then top it with some balsamic vinegar and a little bit of honey. Okay, let's assemble our salad. And I'm just gonna put this on how I would serve like a little individual platter here. My fresh basil, of course, just gonna do half that amount. So peach, mozzarella cheese, balsamic, repeat. For our dressing, just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And some fresh local honey. and some fresh cracked pepper. Super simple, you're done. We are going to start on our Brussels sprouts and I am going to start with some prosciutto that we're going to slice up. And we're just going to quickly fry this in a pan. And this is just gonna go into my hot pan. So I have a pound of Brussels sprouts and if you need to trim them up, just a little bit off the end will do. We're just gonna cut these in half. going to do just a little bit of red onion here so uh, not even probably a fourth of it but I'm going to slice this so not the blossom side just some nice thin strips there we go and into our pan with that prosciutto and let's get our Brussels sprouts down in our pan sure our heat's on, just a little above medium. And give it a stir. So I have some dried apricots that we're just going to chop up. Oh, about a fourth a cup. So some fresh squeezed orange juice. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Not even quite a tablespoon there. And then some Dijon mustard. One tablespoon. Give that a stir. So sea salt. One tablespoon of honey. Cracked black pepper. I'm finishing this with our chopped apricots. We are going to make a very simple avocado salsa with some grapefruit and red onion and obviously avocado that we are going to put on top of our salmon at the end, just as a garnish. So I have some avocados here. Let's just go ahead and have those. These could stand to be just a little riper. Good trick to ripening avocado is um, toss it in a bag with some really ripe bananas, like in a brown paper bag, and um, they will ripen during the day. And then we'll just scoop this out after you score it. So our avocado's down in our bowl. Let's just do a quick chop on some of that red onion we still have left over. And that's plenty, not even a tablespoon. Maybe less, maybe like a teaspoon. 
So I'm gonna do this kind of backwards with my grapefruit. I like to take the peel off. Look at how slick that is. And then we are just gonna cube this. So not even all of it. Looks about right. Just in some smaller sections here. And then we'll toss it right in our bowl. So grapefruit and grapefruit juice down over our avocado. To that, about a tablespoon, some heart healthy olive oil, sea salt, cracked black pepper, toss it. And you're good to go. So for the main star of our meal, we have some fresh caught salmon fillets and obviously you just want one per person. So however many people you're serving. And I'm just gonna season these up with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to make an apricot sriracha glaze that goes on top. So for our glaze, I'm going to do a good amount of chopped garlic. And to that, some apricot preserves fourth of a cup and then if you're serving more guests this is probably for about four people give or take um, but just you know add a little bit more for the more people that you're serving obviously and then some sriracha I'm gonna go a little heavy handed on this because I love heat and then some red chili pepper flake and then either some fresh squeezed lemon or lime juice, whichever floats your boat. And give it a good whisk. My pan is nice and hot, so we're gonna go ahead and sear that salmon. Just a few minutes on each side. We don't wanna overcook it. Give our salmon a flip. I'm going to add our glaze on that salmon. And then I have some extra as well, just in case somebody wants a little sauce on the side. Very last step to our meal is our sauteed spinach. So I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil down using the same pan that I just seared our salmon on. And then I am going to toss on some spinach leaves. I'm gonna rip those up a little bit so they fit. Okay, just to make this easy, some chopped garlic, sea salt, pepper, little bit of lemon juice. And then I'm gonna keep layering on my spinach and then give it a stir. All right, we are ready to eat a rainbow of colors and flavors here. We have our deliciously seared salmon with that sweet and spicy sriracha apricot glaze. We're gonna put that over a bed of spinach, top it with our avocado grapefruit salsa, and with that, our caprese peach salad, and then of course, just for that salty and sweet mix, our prosciutto and Brussels sprout caramelization masterpiece. So that's gonna go on the side. Well, the good thing is you don't have to have any guilt while indulging in this delicious meal. Thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to check us out at ratacutlery.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more great, easy, and healthy recipes start to finish just like this one.